The Merton School Board censured board member Troy Anderson at last night's meeting for comments he made on social media about teachers and other parents. It took a turn when a woman defended him by using props meant as sex education models. This is the moment one woman at a Merton School Board meeting pulled out a couple of props that shocked the room. So let's look at the toys. Does the eighth grade have to look at? This has nothing to do with Merton. But this is exactly what you guys are censoring to break for this. Merton School District took down their usual recording of Monday's board meeting, reposting a heavily redacted version Tuesday. But cell phone video 12 News obtained shows the sensitive topic in full, though we have blurred the items she's holding. Why is it inappropriate for a group of adults? Why is it inappropriate? This is for eighth graders. What, is, yes, what, is Tulsa, what does Tulsa have anything to do with this meeting? Alexandra Schweitzer is defending Merton board member Troy Anderson after the board censured him for using an expletive to describe a woman and for criticizing the sex ed policy at Wauwatosa schools. She was speaking um, her piece, um, but I think the moment that it started to turn into a stunt that had nothing to do with Merton, um, uh, I think that's when people started to react. Why am I being interrupted? Because you don't want to see these? Because this one has suction and a cup attached to it for an eighth grade boy to play with? Schweitzer calls the items sex toys. 12 News checked and found similar looking educational models included in the suggested eighth grade sex education curriculum in Wauwatosa schools used to teach students how to have safe sex. In a statement, Schweitzer says the intent and purpose of my attempted statement last night was to bring awareness to the fact that children have access to these items. Going on to say the story is not that this was shown to adults, but that 13 year olds have access to it. Caroline, I know you reached out to each party in this. Right, we did reach out to board member Troy Anderson and the Wauwatosa School District, but I did not receive an immediate response from either of them.